today on Royal Talk. This is crazy, Sharon. Do you know what this is doing to us? Get out of my house. <laughs> this will be the day for Royal Talk. Obsessed. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy <laughs> King Gabe. And this is Queen Tina. Uh, that would be, like I say, um, would be cool if when I did that, you know, have like effects where he could, you know, do like the whole last time on this soap opera type of thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually, it was actually something I saw a YouTuber called Therapist React, a therapist and a filmmaker. Uh, they uh, were they react to movies and give their evaluation, especially from the ther especially the therapist. Um, and they had this with when he was reviewing the Twilight films. <laughs> it was like last time on Twilight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think their best reaction is is not just the Twilight films, but their reaction of that CG baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They were freaked out. <laughs> I think it. I think it was the therapist that freaked out. Uh, cause it was like, yeah, but you know, and Edward. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but you know, Edward. Then he went. Ah! <laughs> Please stop showing that. Stop. <laughs> Please stop showing that. They couldn't afford a real baby for some reason, even though their budget is high they for the Twilight films. They. Po it's possible they could have, but uh, Stephanie Myers is like. I do what I want to do. <laughs> okay. I think most of their budget went on to special went on to special effects. Most of the Twilight's budget. <laughs> Pretty much. And, and now that I just mentioned that, someone probably gonna come request that. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> well, let's go into obsess right now. <laughs> Like, we'll, we'll leave we'll leave we'll leave that alone for now then like <laughs> like some of the like some of the preachers say about certain subject okay I'm gonna let that alone now so <laughs> so here we go obsessed what are you obsessed with <laughs> hey, had to throw that in there <laughs> for me I'm obsessed with money that sounds more like Mr. Krabs <laughs> Well, I'm just joking. <laughs> that'll, that'll be that'll be. I guess that maybe maybe that they they maybe maybe, maybe that maybe that would have been the sequel. <laughs> if I was obsessed with money, love is love in my heart is not be in people. It won't be in people. It'll mm -hmm. be more materialistic things. Mm. Oh boy. Than people. That and as yeah. Oh, and as you can see. uh in somewhat of semi-business attire. Oh, <laughs> uh, I would have a tie, but most, but I need to get my ties dry clean there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, and it's like, well, why didn't you have that done before the review? Because uh, I was lazy and didn't think to. <laughs> Same goes with a with a jacket. Yeah, pretty much. Oh um, man, actually, a suit jacket. I'm, I am in the process of of at some point, uh, not right away, but at some point, getting a new uh, suit later on. Then, because uh, uh, one that I have has, um, it's still it's it still kind of fits there, but yeah, it it's been it's been in here for some years, and. Yeah, uh, matter of fact, if, uh, an example of how long it's been here. This is 2023. Uh, the first time I ever wore the suit that I'm talking about was 2005 at my mom's re-wedding. <laughs> that long? That was what I wore to walk her down the aisle. That's almost like 18 years. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, in two more years, it'll be 20 years for that suit. So... But yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah. So to have a, you know, something fresh and also, also to fit a big guy like me, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit better, <laughs> like you know, <laughs> cause I've grown some. <laughs> and I also have dresses in my closet I haven't worn for years, and the last time I wore them was the first time I got married, and it's unknown if they still fit or not, since, if since the body changes from time to time. That's. true. That's true. Um, we'll find out. But in my opinion, as of now, yeah, I think you probably have a better chance. You have a lot. You'd have more of a higher chance of fitting into your old stuff than I would. <clears throat> yeah. If, as you can see. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm more yeah. of a small slash medium. Right. So she got a better chance of, of still fitting into her stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not telling you my actual number size. Uh, yeah, that's that's. Yeah, we 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 know that's the tip. Yeah, because remember, remember SpongeBob Wendy's. Uh, try to guess your weight. Well. <laughs> Yeah. That too. Uh -huh, yeah, they this person. Uh -huh, yeah, don't don't ever ask don't ever ask a lady that. Yeah. It's <clears> personal. That's that's my advice to all you guys. <laughs> when when you get get getting to know getting to know a, a, a young lady, don't ever ask them those questions. Well, if you did ask a lady their weight, especially two women talking about their weights and stuff, it might it might just hurt them because they wish that they would wish that they were a certain weight. Like for example, like they wish to be like 110 pounds. That's their that's their dream weight. Anywhere mm -hmm. between 110 to 120. That's like a fantasy weight. Even though in reality women can't go that far. Pretty much. So. Because it also depends on their body as well as their overall health. Of as well as their limit. Hmm. And you know is that guy? something to think about. Yep. So yeah, that's what that's what I say. It's better to let to let the ladies. Yeah. So that 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 doing this made me think of Meet the Browns when um this guy uh was trying to talk to his uh divorced wife, trying to get a point across to her. He wasn't trying to hurt her. Yeah. But he grabbed the arm because he was getting a little upset, and then he started to catch himself, and his uncle was like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't ever grab her <laughs> yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we about to and and just like they learned lessons there, we're about to learn quite a bit from from this movie. <laughs> uh, and probably and and surely any of y'all uh, listen to the review as well as also watching the movie for yourself will probably learn some things too after having it pointed out here <laughs> what's yeah. in there. Oh boy, so of course uh, this movie, uh, 2009 of course, uh, this I found out from, I think it was Double Toasted, that Beyonce and her dad were produced, to help, uh, had produced this movie, her, her and her dad there, because she's actually on the list as a producer. And when I first saw the trailer in the movie, I didn't know it was Beyonce, I thought it was some other one because... It was because she didn't have no makeup on. It looked like she. It looked like she does have no makeup. Beyonce, the, her character, she don't have no makeup until I saw her name in the credits. Mm -hmm. I thought it was some other woman at first, and she almost looked similar to me when I rewatched it. Mm -hmm. The way I look. Yep. <laughs> which is probably which is probably uh, when you look at the thumbnail, you you won't really know it. You'll you'll, you'll be like. Like, huh? Well, Beyonce look a little different. Yeah. That's actually her in the thumbnail. <laughs> <gasps> what? Huh? It's like, you just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, guess you could say Beyonce changed her name to Christina. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, speaking of that, I drew a connection of the of. Uh, from her and also the actor who plays her husband, Idris Elba, yeah. who a lot of y'all probably know, uh, even if you don't, even if you don't know the actor, you probably recognize roles like Heimdall from Thor, um, and possibly if you've seen Ghost Rider two, um, don't know the name of the character, but probably seen a face like his in Ghost Rider two, and also um, Sonic two. Hmm. Yeah, uh, as as the akin porcupine, I am an Enkindu warrior. Knuckles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, he. So those those now now some other roles he's been in too, but those are the two movies I um, know about right off the bat there that I've actually seen and know he's in there. I think the rest of the roles are just outside of America. The rest oh, of the roles yeah. he came in. He came mm -hmm. from or outside of America, possibly since yeah. he is uh, European. There, yes, mainly <laughs> British. How to 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 do? Yeah. <laughs> I say, I fancy a nice movie with Beyonce. Yeah. This would be a very elegant role for me. 
So what is your direction, Miss Beyonce? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe off screen he would he would talk normal. Oh yeah, sort of like Tom Holland when yes. um you know British actor playing American Spider Man. Uh, when he's when he's off the clock, he sounds like Harry Potter. <laughs> I think when he voiced Knuckles, he was using his normal voice. When he oh Knuckles. yeah, to get to yeah. give that feel of the whole tribe and everything. Yes. Yep. Matter of fact, I think what happened uh, in a fantasy theory, he went from this <laughs> after he married Beyonce, uh, or their characters. Uh, his character's Derek, uh, hers is Sharon. Uh, so Derek and Sharon, uh, after the events of this movie, uh, two years later, moved to Asgard because he got a new job as the gatekeeper for Asgard. Uh, then, after his time in Asgard, when uh, all that stuff happened in Dark World, and he was he was on the run in the Thor in the third Thor movie, uh, then Thanos killed him right after they escaped Asgard in Infinity War, and. I'm guessing uh, Sharon was killed off screen. <laughs> so then they got reincarnated. Um, he be uh, after uh, af um, yeah, of course he's in Valhalla, but his body got reincarnated as Knuckles the pork, Knuckles the Hedgehog and Kindu Warrior, and Sharon got reincarnated as Nala in the Lion King. That sounds like a fan fiction. <laughs> Hey, I'm drawing a connection. <laughs> I confirm. No, no, I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, it won't be good. You see, so many people. A strange with the... fan fiction, but somewhat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but yeah, don't 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 don't, don't, don't take that for real. Now it's just for fun. Because yeah. you got so many people that's coming up with all kind of this stuff of theirs that they actually try to make canon. My boy Josh actually told me that somebody was that somebody threatened. Uh, a writer about making something canon in, in My Hero Academia. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but they um, a couple of characters to be canon in that, and they threatened the writer, why didn't you do that? Why didn't you make them canon? Oh, it's it, their story. Yeah, they really? They whatever they want with it. Yes. Yes, regardless of whether we like it or not, it is, as Green Lantern say, in this country, the man's entitled to his opinion, however boneheaded it may be. <laughs> and we are all entitled to our own opinions, no mm -hmm. matter how t how good or terrible they are. Exactly. If you're not if you're not liking that, I mean, it's okay to make suggestions to people. Like, yes. Maybe you feel like a certain way, but remember, they still got to make a choice for themselves. There, remember, because it's still their writing. And same goes with the works of Marvel, mm -hmm. as well as DC. Right. So that's. That's why you write your fanfics and enjoy them. Yes. <laughs> if if you don't like something in the canon, <laughs> I bet people are doing a lot of Barbie fan fiction because the movie's coming now soon. Obviously, Barbie fan fiction. Everything probably got a fan fiction at this point. Yes. <laughs> yep. So, so, uh, so now, and you can write your fanfics about this after after the review. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all up to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so with this, so, so the movie started, uh, Derek and Sharon, they moved into their new house with their little son, Kyle. Oh, he was adorable. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's actually noted in the movie that they've been married for three years. So Three years in March. Right. So, uh, and Kyle is two, so obviously that first year, honeymoon. Yes. Yeah, you can, you you can you can figure out how you can figure out how all this happened there. I, and they want and they still and they want the kid right away instead of just waiting for several years like us. Mm -hmm. And it could and then again you got some couples, um, yeah when they first get married, honey honeymoon they just do it and then like oh you're pregnant, so like Edward when he was surprised about Bella's pregnancy. Yeah. Yeah, so some cases, some cases it don't be no so much that they're, you know, sometimes they they're just thinking of the now. Sometimes I just was thinking later. of the now myself back then. Right, I so, enjoy the rest of my twenties and for early thirties as much as I can before that time comes. Hmm. Yep, and it's different with everybody of how they think of that there too. Yeah, yeah like yeah, like I say, because. Uh, like Will Smith say, oh, I can't think that far ahead. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the first episode of Fresh Prince. Yeah. 
So, yeah, it, it, they probably, you know, they got married, you know, went somewhere for their honeymoon and was enjoying the moment to the point where, yeah, then, yeah, they got back home and she was pregnant. Yeah. So then they had to try to get things arranged for that. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it, it happens, you know. <laughs> but uh, duly note, they... Some uh, I know it's three years, but they still somewhat fresh into this. Yes, fresh into the marriage game. Right, or so like Batman, his second year of crime fighting. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's uh, they they're also in a new house at the beginning of the movie, celebrating it. <laughs> yeah, I noticed they used their SUV to to move into that house, and I know. I know Derek also have a car, and how would how did they get the car there too? Um, well, they had movers and stuff like that, so maybe might they might have somebody they knew drive it over there. Oh, yeah, since drive the car, right? They maybe they drove the SUV together to you know get to get into the house, and that's and you know she was there with the movers, uh, with the movers that came. Or Derek use a tra- or use a tow truck to transport the car. Could be I. It's it's a problem. I mean, it could be that I would go with maybe there's somebody they know that helped them out there along with the movers. Yes. Yes. Um. So, yes. I was probably either one of those, but I would say somebody they know the tow truck. Honestly, tow truck. I would think more like if the car is broken or something. Like damn. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, like that kind of there, but. Yeah, so, of course, uh, Derek slips off to work at the office there. Um, and one thing uh, I definitely think of, we like to imagine ourselves in these movies we watch. Yeah. Um, if this was us in another universe, um, like she's, Beyonce probably is her in another universe. Yeah. And she says she looked like her. <laughs> yes. And so, Christina went under the stage name Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> um. And then the guy's bald, just like I am. Yeah. But but he doesn't have a beard, though. Yeah. A, yeah, so, um, if that was us in that universe, um, that business, that, that, I think it's like stock market and mergers and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, prob- uh, from, what I, from what we've been through over time, that would probably be more like... Um, what like brownie reaction as a as a business there? I would say as like a like a station, like a TV station or a movie or a movie production set or whatever. Probably and be like, yes. okay, so in the next, okay, so uh, what movie are we reacting to next? Uh, um, it's the movie. Okay, we're uh, next supposed to be the movie robots there. Oh yeah, I would say <laughs> studio. It'll be a studio. yeah, it'll be this robots so. Okay, later we gotta think of something for Bridget, uh, possibly Bridget Terabithia or Imagine Me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can have Shaq come up in the next one there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, you know, talk discussing stuff like that. And I'm not gonna say no name, but uh, the temp, of course, uh, would be who I used to work with back in Brownie Reacts. <laughs> we should call She Shu Who Shall Not Be Named. Mm hmm. Yeah, for in in that universe, yeah. <laughs> yes. Say, so uh, the temp, of course, is uh, named Lisa in this movie. And Lisa looked like she might be younger than Sharon. Obviously, yes. She yeah. looked like she's younger. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind, kind. They probably did that on purpose, be, being the temp. Get it? Yes. Temp. <laughs> Now, I know that's an office term, you know. For a temporary worker. Right, but for the movie's sake, Tim Triss. Yes. Tim, temporarily Tim Triss. I, I guess, guess if it was a male point of view, you'll be the temper. Tim- the temper? <laughs> well, we do have a temper, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've got, hey, I've, even I've had my temper moments, I'm not gonna lie. The temper. If it was male. Yeah, I got new, uh, ooh, excuse me, had a moment, mo- moment way back at my old, at my old Kroger where me and one of my, one of my friends, I mean, we cool now, but we was, it was something we were discussing and it got into an argument. Next thing you know, 
I'm jumping up out of my seat because I'm way over here. He's at the doorway. I'm jumping. Up. Where? Why do you? <laughs> uh -oh. And they want to fight him, right? And the man and one of the co-managers came, got there, got there just to tell him, hey, 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 before it escalates and gets yeah. up, get worse. Mm-hmm. Bread to bread. Whew. <laughs> you need to get, that get, that get your hot right <laughs> Ooh, boy. So, I'm using the temper as just an office term for a male. Oh, not, yeah. Not oh. just emotion. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but hey, it could go there. Because, yeah. hey, you know, who said, because even, because regardless of the job, hey, people get upset, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, hey, you know, I just, <laughs> yeah. Not just, I, not just at work, but also in their personal life, they get upset. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. It varies, but yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we got all. And, uh, of course, you got all the people that he's worked with. Apparently, Derek is the vice president of that business. Yeah. I think the business is called Gage and Bendix. Gage and Bendix. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, he's the vice president. Uh, there's a joke that he makes uh, when he meet, when he first met the temp. And, like, I'm Lisa. Yeah. He's like, oh. Uh, Actually, I, I think it's before he introduces him, like, who he is. Yeah. Because uh, they're, they're walking. He's like, uh, you following me? He's like, I'm on my way to take these to Derek Charles. He's like, Derek Charles. Oh, yeah, I know him. He's like, if you ask, he's like, if you ask me, he is a butthole. Takes Ooh. himself way too seriously. <laughs> oh. Don't, he don't, made a joke don't. to himself. Oh, uh, because he's Derek Charles. Like him, him. He's like, don't, like, don't, don't tell him I said that. When I get in trouble. <laughs> A lot of trouble. <laughs> then next thing it is like, uh, evening, Mr. Charles. Ah, you figured it out. <laughs> For the record, uh, you lied. People say you're the nicest one here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got them fooled. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, so he, as Splinter say, I made the funny. <laughs> so. I guess, I guess in my case, like, uh, I'm taking these files to uh, Gabriel Johnson. Oh yeah, I've heard of that guy. <laughs> he is a pain in the rear. <laughs> Just, oh, and very annoying. <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so, oh, and I actually did not get that until we were. Re we were looking at it for the review. Yes. Uh, Cause I wasn't really paying much attention when he said that there, and I was, and my mind was just thinking of his ash, like the person who was over him. Yeah. Uh, but then I was like, well, Derek Chow, but he's there. Oh. oh. He made a joke to himself. I get it now. <laughs> I get it. So he's Derek Chow. Uh. Like, what did we? Say? <laughs> Oh my goodness! So, <laughs> so yeah, we got the temp adapted in there. Um, notice throughout the movie, this temp moves around the office uh, during the time that she's working there. Uh, she takes over for a guy named Patrick. She takes over for a lady named Marge. Mm -hmm. and, uh, from and week they, to week, we could do to do to us of the flu and the stomach bug. Yeah, ironic that they have the same ailment uh, one that one week after the other. Hmm. I wonder who's giving it to them. Hmm, perhaps the temp. <laughs> Secretly. Yeah, it's it's it seems kind of suspicious. <laughs> yeah. And Derek also have a friend that I forgot that I don't know who his name was. Oh yeah, no, oh yeah. One, um, yeah. I mentioned he's. I want when we were watching it. Uh, he sort of made me think of if someone took, uh, if someone took a uh, n a possible candidate for playing Flash, and mixed him in a blender with Superman. <laughs> oh, you get him. Uh huh. But he had a little floof on his hair and stuff. There. Yeah, it looks like he's like late twenties, early thirties. Mm hmm. Getting to know the place. Yep, and apparently so is this temp there. Uh, yes, and of course, uh, when Sh and of course now Shannon does hear about it, like oh, you know, Patrick was out sick. We had a temp. She beautiful. Why well, was well, she? She pretty. Pretty plain. 
that you ever fired. <laughs> yeah, uh, foreshadowing, isn't it? <laughs> well, apparently, uh... I'm mad that temp was Barbie. Oh boy, another Barbie, cam another Barbie cameo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but except that Barbie's psycho. I guess that'd be the psycho Barbie line. <laughs> we got we got tour guides Barbie, we got nurse Barbie, we got doc Barbie, uh, race car Barbie. <laughs> we don't have a psycho Barbie in the line. <laughs> I know so, all Barbies used to be positive role models. Yeah, yeah, that would that that would be a major. I guess that'd be a universe if, if the Barbies were the opposite of what we have them in this world. Oh yeah, if 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 she wasn't a horror film. This movie is kind of like a horror film mixed with drama. <laughs> yes. And what's what is scarier if, than taking a really hot lady as a temp and but also at the same time making her scary? Hmm. That is quite a mix. <laughs> but they they building up to that. Oh yeah. So we seen we seen the temp going through his his personal profile from the office as well as going through his CD case so far of what music he likes. Mm -hmm. It's like he's studying more about him throughout as the movie goes on. And he also and she also sees his wife in person. Oh yeah, her, her as well as his, his child. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Studying most of his life. Oh yeah. And even uh and I think even there was a uh, part, of course, where she uh, she sort of did a fake breakdown, yes, for to to see how he would respond to comforting her, like, oh, this guy broke up with me. Hey, don't don't be so hard on yourself. Any man will be lucky that. I'm telling you, if I were single, <gasps> that's a big oh. mistake. <laughs> oh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's oh. a no, don't ever. <laughs> this is a um, advice to all the guys, yeah. especially married guys, or 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 with girlfriends. Yeah. If you are at work or anywhere, and you know there's another late, um, you know another lady, you know, and you know y'all just you know casually talking or something like that. Don't ever say something like if I were single. Nope. If yeah, I was yeah. still single. Right. Now I'm not saying now I'm not saying that all ladies are gonna do what the temp is about to do. Yes. I'm not saying that. But some will hear that and be like Oh <laughs> like 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 that lady is going for him. <laughs> if you were single Tell me more. <laughs> like, that lady's going to go for that guy. Mm -hmm, that's... As well as jeopardize his marriage if he was married. Right. They're going to take some shots there. They're yeah. gonna... it's, it's, it's like targeting the weak spots of a person uh, f physically, but in this case, uh, but in this case, non-physically. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like how uh, how in fights, people will, in a fight, sometimes people will hit you at pressure points. Yes. Uh, to weaken you there. Yes. This is how... This is how this will occur. <laughs> I know she felt better quickly and after, he, after that comment. And I think I mentioned uh, that when he walks in, he waited till she he walked in to start, like she was. <laughs> yeah. And, but when she, but if you look at her, like he doesn't see it, but yeah. to the audience. <laughs> Ooh, smiling. <laughs> uh huh. It's sort of like you know it how it sounds you, like she's just laughing. Uh huh. Sort of, <laughs> sort of like um, like plankton and man ray. Yeah. When they, oh, sob. Oh, cry. Let me put that. Oh, sob. Oh, cry. Oh, woe is me. Oh. <laughs> or the. <laughs> Don't give me a star if they did a force cry. That that that's what they be doing. That'd be they be forcing the, the, the force so, so it can be convincing. Sometimes they think of something sad, and other times they they hurt themselves on purpose in order to force themselves to cry. They hurt themselves on purpose physically. It's sort of what Esther did in that orphan movie. Yeah. When she hurt herself on purpose. Yeah, and had the towel in her mouth so she wouldn't. 
Yeah. Make so she wouldn't yell right then. Yeah. And then that way when she got in the uh, mm. <laughs> make it look like her arm was broke. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. So yeah, they and and I think the friend that um that we can't think of the name of because I know Patrick, but we don't know this other guy's name. Yeah. Um, he actually he actually kind of foreshadows a little bit there. Yeah. Like the dude, I mean, like that office is their hunting ground. <laughs> she might got you pinned. <laughs> Ooh. You might want to watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, might want to listen to the, I mean, I know he's a young buck, but sometimes you might want to listen, because sometimes even they say some stuff, sometimes they could, sometimes even they know some things, you know? Yes. Just, just saying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't, don't be quick to go, ah, la, 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 <laughs> um. la, just hear, hear what they have to say at least. Yeah. Because <laughs> it might, it might be helpful. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, so yeah, and then of course uh, we get uh, there's even uh, of course oh, about the CD thing. Yeah, she yes. sends them. Yeah, how'd you get this illegal download? <laughs> yeah, try. You like it? <laughs> even though she got from a per his personal CD case. Well, I think what it was, it was the group, the group that she was looking at. So she got, I guess they were probably songs he didn't have oh. from that group. Oh. That's probably what it was. Oh, uh, he, she must have got them on, on the internet. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then, of course, there's this Christmas party, and everybody got drunk. Yeah, and they can't bring their spouses now. I I have to kind of I kind of side with Double Toasted a little bit when they talk about this. Like, what kind of job says not to bring your spouse? To an extent, I can kind of side with that there, depending on the job there. Um, not complete. Uh, good. I mean, maybe. I mean, because you know, it's an office job and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think in real life there are some cases where. Employees have brought their spouses if they have spouses. Well, it See all that? depends on the job they work for. Hmm. Yeah. While well, referring to the like office jobs. Then. Yes. Yeah. I've, there might be some cases like that in the real world. Um, like I say, I I kind of uh, I'm, I kind of like eh with that. I'm not completely sure <laughs> a nay or a yay to that there. I'm just saying. <laughs> But uh, of course, movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this, uh, yeah, like you say, yeah, they get all drunk, drunk and uh, hey, hey, oh. <laughs> and I think Derek mentioned that he had some, he had a beer, a few shots of tequila, and I don't know what else. Yeah, I gotta. You know how that that drinking there amongst yeah. your buddies go. I took one more drink. <laughs> yep, and then, then of course, uh, had to let Mother Nature take his course. Uh, phone local. Yeah. To Mother Nature. Say, <laughs> <laughs> and just as he's, <laughs> all of a sudden you see a mistletoe rubbed up against his head, and it's the temp. Oh no. And fading him and, and his unexpected time of need. I'm gonna be on. I, I gotta be honest about something. Looking at that and thinking of it. Yes. Even, even if I was single, don't don't dare take advantage of that. Anybody? Listen, yes. to that. I don't know. Nope, don't even think about it. <laughs> but if even if I was single, I I would as a somebody uh e a lady come like that to me in the bathroom. It's about the men's public, but it's just a bathroom in general. And I'm trying to do my, and, I, and I'm about finishing up my business. I'm going to be really, really ticked. I don't care who you are. I'm going to be ticked. Don't get me started. Was the other way around? Mm -hmm. oh, well, oh, my. That, yeah. if, I'm, if I'm ticked, that might be worse. Yeah. <laughs> that Especially might when that time of the month comes. If you know what I mean. Oh, and a, and a guy just barged in like that. 
that guy might not that that guy might not survive. Yeah. That guy that that guy that guy gonna need some medical attention after she done with him. <laughs> Don't get me started if she was also preg Don't get me started if she was pregnant. Hello nine one one, they have a guy down. Uh seem like he got some major injuries here. Yes. What 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 happened At, to him? What, especially <laughs> don't get me sorry if you say, but we need to talk. I'm not I'm not giving up on you. I'm, we need to talk and keep, and keep on and following her and stuff. At least at least let us have our bear. Uh, at least let us come out of the bathroom. Yeah, can we just talk? Yeah, even, even like I say again, even as a single guy, I'm like, talk to me. Don't don't come in the bathroom. And talk to me. Let me do my business, and then when I come out. Then we can talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is not the time. And and of course, like like I just stated, he Derek is ticked. <laughs> uh, so ticked that he had to leave. Yeah. Oh, and, and of course, there was a brief moment where they had to hide because another employee came in there. And Lisa <laughs> was trying to make out with him. Yeah. Even though he's not interested. Yeah, and that, and that guy was all like, Hey, what's going on in there? <laughs> yeah. I bet that guy was drunk. All of them were. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so he... He got himself a free show. Well, Derek... Well, Derek wasn't too pleased with with being the star in that. So, yeah, um... Pretty much... So he pretty much stormed out of there. Pretty much probably how Alvin felt after a embarrassing scene he had in the live-action Chipmunks movie. Yeah. Uh, if y'all don't know what I mean from the trailer. Uh-oh. Yeah. When we watched the movie, it was Simon who took it. Uh huh. Well, of course. Uh, so you would think, you would think he'd get home and and would uh and would say something about this. And I know his wife is still asleep. Mhm. Per- perfect chance that they. Honey, honey, son, honey, you never. As I just temp she. Ooh, just made me, just, just really ticked me off in the bathroom. <laughs> well, no, he doesn't say, he's like, well, how's the party? Oh, you know, same old, same old. He just, he just said nothing just happened the next day to his office, to his buddy. Like, nothing had happened. There's nothing to say. Yeah. It's like his memory has been blocked. This, take this as a lesson to learn uh, when you watch the movie. Has a lesson to learn. To, uh, don't 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 keep that silent. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> especially especially if you, if you're if you're in a violent situation, if you're abused, mm-hmm. if you're abused or 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 if you're abused or raped or whatever, mm-hmm. something involved with sexual assault, just tell somebody. Right, and that, and trust me. Um, now he probably now of course he blew his up like come on. We was all drunk, you know. Let's just forget about it. Even under drunk influence, I drug man. Uh, and I'm not a drinker. I'm not because uh, my body's real sensitive to stuff like that. But um, but even but drinker or not, I'm just uh, this this just this just how I would be in this and rea- and should be reality. I'm gonna sing like a canary. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna. I'm, um, I prob chances are I if there's a, even if I didn't say nothing that night, which technically would have been a good idea. Yeah. I would have. I get home. Uh, Christina, um, it's at the party and this happened. Yada yada yada. I was like, oh, make sure you tell somebody at work. Oh yeah, I'm, I will first thing in the morning, baby. <laughs> and that's what. Yeah, I'm I'm singing like a canary. I'm gonna my, I'm gonna be telling. <laughs> Like, because it's because there's stuff in your mind that wants to be heard mm-hmm. that needs to come and out. If, and if it and then see thing is, if it escalates past that, guess what? The people you tell got reports of this, so they okay, yeah, because he because yeah, he told us about when this happened. There, yeah, okay, so yeah, we yeah we know what you've been doing. <laughs> we have a sense that something in our mind bothers us after we experience that, like what Charles experienced in that party. That has to be that has to be a dress mm-hmm. yep but yeah like I guess that's one lesson you could definitely learn from the movie oh um, first offense yeah in his mind he blows it off as well we were all drunk so there's a uh, thinking thinking okay let's just forget about it and move on 
Oh, she ain't gonna forget it. She, well, she's acting like ain't, nothing, nothing happened while they were in the office. But when Dare got into his car, she apologized to him dead. And then she started to show herself. Well, flash her. herself with just her bra and panties. And then it made him furious. Like, get out of the car now. But, 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 but there it is. Get out! And then, and then when she got out of the car, she started to scream like a tiger or a lion. Oof. Like, ah! I know you, I know you do a pretty good lion. Like, ah! Oof. <laughs> yeah. Now imagine a lion sound like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the heck is wrong with her? It's uh, if they do a uh, we were talking about this earlier if they do a reboot of this movie yeah um we need to they uh they need to go from her point of view they can still keep trying yeah definitely keep Derek and Shannon but come from her point of view throughout the story there because there's some stuff that they bring up about her in this movie that yeah that would actually make good for a reboot there yes and even sort of sort of make um kind of make me think. By doing it that way would sort of make me think of the Joker movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With uh, uh, Walking Phoenix, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now see. Okay, so you blew off that as, okay, well, we were just drunk and stuff. But, okay, y'all sober. Yes. There's no excuse why this can't be told. Oh, wait, he gets home. My, my sister's husband had an affair and left her. Can you imagine how terrible that is? Oh snap. If I say anything about what happened, I'll be just like her sister's husband. I guess I won't say nothing. Are you are you are you, are you um representing his mind? Probably. What he had in his mm -hmm. what he mm -hmm. in his mind. Yeah. Well it, this mm -hmm. is your second chance to tell him the to tell her the truth. This is your second chance. This is what I got to say okay. First off, I'm not. I I am understanding to Derek's situation. I'm understanding to that. I'm not. Yes, he doesn't want to hurt his wife. Right. I get that. However, just saying as advice to the reality, you still should tell her to the, to the guys. You still should tell your wife. But Gabe, that could really hurt her. This is why you should tell. Her. Yes, you're right. It will hurt. But this is what this is how this is the big difference of telling them then as opposed to, uh, you know, all of a sudden they find out on their own later and stuff to escalate it. At this point, where it's small, it would be like the equivalent of, um, uh, metaphorically speaking, if I had got a cut on my hand from work, like, ow, ooh, or and a then paper I, cut. yeah, like ooh, and I go quickly, I get a band aid, like, yes. oh, oh boy. Oh, that hurt, that hurt. Oh, boy. So it would be like that. It would be like a metaphorical version of that pain. Mm. And, yeah, you, and, you know, yeah, she'd be a little upset. But, you know, you're like, baby, you know, but that's this is why I'm telling telling you this. Because, you know, I don't want us to, you know, I want, you know, you know, this. Uh, okay, well, you need to tell somebody at work. I, I, will, I will definitely do that, honey. So, then, so yeah, you got something. You got your communication. And mm -hmm. if this gets worse, to call the police. Exactly, and your wife knows about this from the begin from the get go. Yeah. The later waiting, trying to hide it, and then it eventually just comes out. Sort of like when you try, sort of like when you know you're trying to hold in your cry. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just gets to the point where you're like, ah, ah, ha, 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 ha. yeah, like that. Well, he tried to report. The answer to human resource, but couldn't do it because the human resource mentioned that she quit. And he still should have said something, though. Yeah. He still, still, still say something. I mean, what if she does something outside of the workplace and she no longer works there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, yeah. This. Um, well, we're gonna get to what we, uh, to the pain of it just coming out. We're gonna get to that there. Um, so apparently, yeah, while he may not be making the best decisions, we do get some reasoning behind why he's making them. Again, they're not good decisions, but we get reasoning why. Yes. 
Oh, um, okay. He was drunk the first time. Yes. Second time is like, oh, okay, look, just leave me alone. Um, he doesn't. Um, my wife was going through. The wife was sobbing about her sister's husband. So I don't want to hurt her. I reported to human. Uh, okay, hey, human resources. I want to say uh, about Lisa. Oh, she quit. Oh, well, I guess I ain't got nothing to say. Thing, she ain't working here, so you know, no, no, no need to do that. <laughs> she, he would have still reported. Yeah, that's what he should have. So, but of course, his in his mind. Yeah. Like, well, if she ain't working, what would be the point? Yeah. But we okay. noticed that time has passed with the holiday season. Mm-hmm. And then, and then when he opened his um, laptop, he sees pictures of her. As and a try New Year's to, greeting. Yeah, and try to block it as much as he can before his wife comes. Yeah, deleting the pictures and then... So, and then he tries, to, you know, to tell her, hey, look, just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> yes. And the only response she gives back to that is a smiley face, which in this, which you would think, like, well, what's creepy about a smiley face? The situation is what makes it creepy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And, and that's before when emojis become popular. Mm. That's, that, that, that movie took place in 2009, and you don't see too many people with smartphones in the movie, I noticed. They use basic phones like the flip phones. Yeah, and also, um, possibly, I'm not completely sure, but possibly uh, the phone that I had before I got my iPhone, uh, I want to say 2011, I think, 2010 mm -hmm. or 2011, yeah. uh, that had that, that, you know, you raised up and you had that, that keypad. Oh, thing. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think there was one character, one character in the movie had that phone. Mm -hmm. I think it was the teenager. Right, you have those then, and all these other devices, your Blackberry, your PDAs, and all of that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and they were still getting emails from the computers. Exactly. Hmm. Yep, so, so it's like, okay, I told her to leave me alone. Okay, that's done. <laughs> well, let's go to a business retreat, shall we? Uh, they're all, you know, have, you know, all the guys, the office guys, like, like business, 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 business. <laughs> and you know, and I know you don't see too many of the ladies there, not too many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the only time that the ladies were there outside of the workbook was a Christmas party, apparently. I think there were ladies in the meeting the next day during the business retreat, only like, oh, few, okay, okay, like a few. I think most ladies were staying at a hotel room somewhere I... while the guys were talking. I'm guessing maybe they might have had something with the, maybe the ladies had their own thing off screen. Possibly their own meeting. Yeah, I hope. Okay, I guess that kind of can make sense. Okay. <laughs> and when we see Lisa at the retreat, and how does he? How does she know that he's going to the retreat? Well, remember you said she was looking up stuff on him. Yeah. So she might. She probably was also hacked. Probably somehow hacked into. That business, I mean, remember, she did work there. Yeah. So she probably found some way to hack into there to find out where. where. Yeah, I said, because he is the vice president. He, She might have hacked into his phone some way and put her tracking device somewhere in mm -hmm. his phone. I would just say the hack, probably. Yeah. Because, yeah, I know she, yeah, probably just the hack in there. <laughs> And I know the smartphones were still experimental during 2009. They were in the experimental age. People are still trying to work with them and getting used to them. Mm -hmm. Since they didn't come out till 2007. So it's still experimental. Oh, to see yeah. if it's going to work or not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she figured out where it is retreated in... Uh, uh, and how he, how she got Derek's attention was, uh, he's like, wait, I didn't order that. It's from the lady up there. Huh? Oh my God! <laughs> Dirty martini. <laughs> and, a, and and Lisa was wearing that red dress. And you, you know what that that made me think of when he said it's from the lady over there? Yes. Uh, those of you have seen Justice League War, there was a scene like that with the Martian Manhunter. It's like. I didn't order that. It's from the lady over there. And I think that lady who, the lady who gives him the drink was was wearing also was also wearing a red dress, and she might have been blonde. Ironic, isn't it? 
Mm. They maybe she depending on depending on when Justice League Doom came out, you could say that maybe she was uh disguised as uh, Lisa from from that movie. I think Justice League Doom was came out like after Obsessed was out. I think after oh, okay, she probably seen the movie Obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, except except the worst part of Justice League Doom was uh not saying that yeah, obsessed was still uh yeah, he's still in a bad situation there, but uh at least he didn't Lisa didn't have magnesium in his drink and he catch on fire. Ooh. <laughs> but behind behind Derek's back she put drugs in his drink. Yeah, uh, kept kept him distracted talking to him. Yes, and secretly put drug in his drink. No. Also another note to guys, take take from watch from, from hearing this review and then watching this movie. Check uh, always check your drinks. Same goes with ladies in that situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's one thing Mom always used to tell me. Uh, like you know, just in general, you know, going out somewhere, a party, or just any, just any. Um, like cause, you know, she. I mean, because um, you, because you know, of course, she knew there was gonna be some stuff that I go to, especially in adult life. You know. Yeah. Um, just in general, and you know, you never know what's all there. Um, but any, but it, but if you go somewhere, so, uh, all never. Uh, another thing is never set your drink down and walk off somewhere. Yeah. Because you never know who will come by and put some in it. Because I know so there's a lot of people that will do that. Some people do that right on right 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 at Kroger. There they'll have like a like a soda or something like that, and all of a sudden I walk in somewhere in the bag and that soda just be sitting somewhere. Oh, randomly. Yeah, so... Or yeah. just to be safe, just get your own drink. Right. True. Uh, but, yeah, but like I said, with your drink, uh, go on and finish it. Finish it quickly and right, then set it down. Then go, then go fin- finish it, you know, then uh, then you go off somewhere, and if you, and if you want some more drink, yeah, you get a new drink. Yeah. <laughs> but don't ever sit, don't ever have it. Okay, you're not finished with it and just sit there and like, I'm going to go off and speak to them. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Especially when you're alone. Mm-hmm. If you have somebody with you who, who you trust the most, they will wash your drink for you. Mm, that's, another, that's another thing to do. Somebody you, who you trust the most. Right. <laughs> they'll be there. Yep. Ooh. So... People, they also do the same with food items poisoned in. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, definitely gotta watch out for that. Yes. Mm. Well, apparently, what she put in that drink uh, really gets him so disappointed that he even kind of, I think, I guess you could say, sort of in a hallucinogen type state. There. Yes, having a having a hallucination. Right. He gets to he gets to his room and collapses on the bed, of course, to try to sleep it off. However, he forgot to lock the door, and which I guess even if he did lock the door, somehow Lisa got a key in there. Yes. Some kind of way, even if he did, she comes in that room. No, oh, get out, get out. And she had sex with him in his drug state. Mm. And let's just say it's sort of like he's in the sunken place. Yes. But can't control what he's doing, what what's happening, or even move like, um, yes. Ironic, he said, "Get out," because that's that's in that movie, "Get Out" by yes. Jordan Peele. Yeah, you know, they show what it was like. It was like he was swimming around in a void space, and I guess looking through his eyes was like he looking through a TV screen. Yes, and he was sinking in his bed. On his mm. bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy! I think there's another example in the sun, what with the sunk places when Mai was trapped in that in that um, hourglass. Oh, when you get out. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> she couldn't get out. Yeah. That was from Mai. I was a, oh boy, Merrick, Merrick was uh, yeah. Did uh, that shadow game Merrick did? Yeah. Uh, oh boy. And in her mind, she was in a in an hourglass that she couldn't get out while her friends are in the beach enjoying themselves and ignoring her. It's pretty much uh, Merrick's way of torturing her. Yes. Mm. But in reality, she's just unconscious. Yep. Well, she was in a, as as they say in the Japanese version, a, uh, pardon my 
French, but a hellish dimension there. Mm. That's what, yeah, they never did say Sharon, but it was, that's what it was known as and torture. Yeah, and the longer, and it, had they not got her out, it's after a length of time, it would be too late to get her out. Oh, yeah. Dead? For uh, eternally, yeah. When, yeah, you wouldn't even be able to get her soul back. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Derek was alive the next day, but in actuality, depending on how the body affects how how the body affects the person when it's, when it's drugged, they wouldn't they wouldn't be so lucky. They would die. Depending on the drug, yeah. Not just the drug, but also the bot their body reaction to the drug. Oh yeah. Because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. He could have died. Yep. If if that drug went went deeper. Mm. Well. Of course, he uh, when he gets up, he's overslept for the meeting that's supposed to have. He gets there. And he's out of focus. Yep, but then suddenly, um, the guy from the hotel... Your wife is here to see you. My wife, Sharon? Huh? So he's thinking, like, Sharon, come up. And it turns out it's Lisa. Like, no! Yeah, obviously, that's why I say, I think it's somebody from the hotel who probably don't know Derek, so yes. they just, yeah, he said, like, hey, I'm his wife. Oh, okay. Hey, Derek, <laughs> the wife said, <laughs> duh, okay. <laughs> that's like a, like a Patrick from Spongebob moment. Duh, okay. Derek, your wife's here to see you. <laughs> I would have spent more specific, like, what, is, what does she look like? Can't give him a specification. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that would, that'd be the Patrick version. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm talking about Patrick from Spongebob, not the one in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. But, well, at this point, this is the last straw. Like, okay, that's it. We're going to Human Reason. If we go there, I will tell them everything. You want me to do that, Derek? He just walks off. <laughs> Yeah, that's another reason why it should have been reported when it first started. Because, and what she mean by everything, of course, is her own interpreted version in a way that would be convincing. And then a few minutes later, she faked her suicide. Yeah, um, it's kind of hard. Honestly, it's kind of hard to really evaluate that one. I mean, yeah, she does, is alive and everything. But the thing is, when Derek comes in there and finds it, I mean, like... And how yeah. she makes your body so lifeless, like... That, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe she really was trying to kill herself, and it just so happened maybe the doctors got that stuff out of her in time. And then we see Sharon try to call him, but she ended up calling her, calling his friend. Yeah, because she couldn't reach uh, yeah. Derek and ask. Yeah, because everybody saw yeah. her um, Lisa hospitalized, and that's how they knew where they were going. Yeah, and the friend stated there was an incident. Um, maybe he should just tell you your, himself. himself. Yeah, tell himself. Yeah. <clears throat> and then she rushed to the hospital. Oh, boy. <laughs> and yeah, and another reason why you should have said something to the beginning because see, now all this stuff comes out, especially... Comes into the, the light. Yeah, especially with the detective. And, and like I say, for, to be fair, the detective's just trying to find out what's going on. Who's telling the truth? What's the information? She's just trying to get the facts. Hmm. Yeah, she's not, try, she's not necessarily trying to cause any trouble here. Yeah, but like I say, you know, because of the lack of communication from earlier... Yeah, it, it kind of comes off that way. Not no fault of the detective, though. But yeah, <laughs> it caused Sharon being in a frenzy, out of anger, an anger which, frenzy, which which was totally legit because, like I say, nothing was told to her. She was so. I mean, I kind of. That's the fur. Now that's the fur offense. Now that's the fur offense. And this, I tell you, I now I know this is There's between. They say free strikes you're out, and that's the first strike. Oh boy, and. I know this is I know this is a marital situation here. Yes. But let's just say I sort of this sort of made me think of growing up as a kid and um like especially uh mid, um sometime in elementary but yeah in middle school uh some things I had done and all of a sudden it came into the light 
because yeah. nothing was said to my mom or my grandparents. Gabe. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, uh, this and, uh, uh, um. I know. Yeah. I know when Derek's mind is scared. Yeah, I was. Hey, I was in that. Like that's why I say. Um, not like I say. It's a. It's a different. It was a different situation in my yeah. case. But yeah, I. I relate to that. Yeah. And I. And yes, I was guilty in that situation. <laughs> so. Yeah, and um, even not. Not only uh, uh, one. Um, one of the incidents. Not only were my folks getting on my case. But even one of my friends at school found out about it and was and, and was uh, and was on me just like my mama was. Yeah. Gabe. <laughs> yep. So, uh, oh boy, that's a, that that was a heated conversation there. Yeah. Over all that, and don't get me started when they got home. Yeah, it got worse. <laughs> Like all I'm here is the stuff you haven't told me, and I don't ask for anything but your honesty. No matter how ugly or how uncomfortable it might be, I just want you to be honest. Yep, it was. But you're just not honest with me right now. Yeah, and keep it, and keep in mind, people. Like, well, he didn't lie to her. Yeah, but keeping stuff is just as worse. Is is worse? Is even is. Just as wrong as the as, as as telling something that ain't true. Depending on what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and then then all of a then all of a sudden stuff escalate and be like, well, wait, well, wait, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> I think I may mention the spy in the Amazing Spider-Man say secrets have costs. And this would be that's his biggest cost. Mm hmm Yep. So. Oh boy! And she uh, yelled at him, "Get out!" And say, "Where do I, and where would I go like, to hell?" But at this case, go to the Four Seasons. Yeah, and let me tell you, in real life, most most guys in that uh, going to that situation, they're told to get out. Would not be that fortunate of the Four Seasons, <laughs> or the Hilton, or any other fancy hotel. Mm -hmm. I think the closest they could get to is a motel, like Motel Six. Or 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 some re or some friend or relative, yeah, to stay. Mm hmm. Want to yeah. get kicked out of the house? Yep. Or even a homeless shelter? Who knows? And this is and this is like this like I say this builds up to why you should have said something from the beginning. Yeah. Also, also, yeah. The and like I say, being that they were married three years, yeah, I can see why this mistake was made though. Yeah. <laughs> Because, like I say, you know, this, um, like I say, they just, I mean, yeah, they've been married three years, but they're still fresh into this. Um, and also the fact of how three years of marriage, how beyond, how, how uh, Sharon, how all this is coming at her, finding this out, processing all of this. Yes. And, you know, a lot, and, you know, a lot of time, you know, you hear, um, like now, especially nowadays, because it's, it's more known uh, with autism, you know, like, well, I'm, I'm trying to process this information and stuff like that from, you know, like people that are autistic. Even, even, let me tell you so, mo emotionally, emotional states, even, like, even for a person that's not autistic, like, the, and, I'm, and, and I'm not I'm not saying anything against, you know, autistic. I know it's still different there, but I'm just saying it's sort of, but there is, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes, like in situations like this, yeah, hmm. that's that's us, uh, which explains why she said, Get out of my house. Um, I give her credit that they didn't divorce, though. I, I give them a lot of credit for that. I know divorce takes a lot of planning, yes. I so I give them credit that, she, that they didn't instantly, that she didn't just instantly say, I want a divorce, but she just said, Get out of my house. Because uh, before she even said that, she was like, I need to be alone right now. I think I need to be alone right now. She just needs more space to process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like I say, you're that angry. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, you do kind of need that. Because even um, in Spider-Man, Aunt May, she didn't say anything, but she had to go upstairs for a moment to process. Uncle, Uncle Ben died because you went to a wrestling thing? 
and let the crook go? <laughs> yeah. And of course, I may forgave Peter Parker, but yeah, she had to process that now. <laughs> yeah, I know it takes more time. Mm hmm. I mean, it's a process as well as keeping your cool at the same time. Right. Yeah. And Aunt May's way was, I, I need I need to leave out the room for just a, I need to leave out the room for a little bit. Let me be alone for a while. And then several days passed. Mm-hmm. She, she easily forgave Peter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Some, and even even with parents, yeah. Parents, yeah, they, you know, when they, when they tell the kid to go to their room, they're trying to process what to do next. Yes, mm -hmm. and as time passes, they're going back and forth for spending time with Kyle. Mm -hmm. Back and oh, forth. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that. And, eh. and it's, I, it's, a, it's a good thing that he's just two years old. If it was, if he was older, it'll be difficult because he 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 wants his parents to be back together. Right. Difficult yeah. emotionally. Right. Because like, why well, do I have to be back and forth between my mom and my dad? And even if he's wondering, this, he probably don't fully know how well how would I ask that, you know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I give and I also give a lot of credit to the employers up there. You know, they have their ways and stuff, the boss and the but but they seem but you can tell, especially in this with the climax, I mean with with what's going on here, they they really show that they actually are concerned about Derek there. Yes. Um, even even with the the boss, you know, like, well I'm taking you off the bus. I'm not losing my client over there. It's, well, he's the, he's not taking them off the project to like, oh, well, you're fired. He's like, no, you need to like, try to try to get things right with Sharon. Spend focus with that right now, because <laughs> he actually, because yeah, like I say, he wants and, and and they also mentioned Sharon worked at that office once before. Yeah. So, yeah, they look so they actually do be looking out for their other fellow employers, mm -hmm. which is uh, actually a. That's actually really um, a really good thing from them. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Of course, this does help. Uh, eventually, uh, they do get um, three months later. <laughs> Excuse me. Three months pass. And at his birthday dinner, they manage to reconcile and get back together. Especially, um, especially he even apologizes more. Um, you know, for not, you know, telling her this. Uh, like I say, the lesson that we learned from this movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and matter of fact, I think there's even a part where she mentions about will that, will, will we be like my parents where they're married for like 30, 30 years. years? Yeah. It can be us. Anything is possible. Yeah. And he said, I'll do whatever it takes to make that us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep, and we're back together. And you think like, oh, oh well, I guess they live happily ever after. Not just yet. <laughs> we still got Lisa to deal with. <laughs> and Lisa lied to the babysitter that she is Kate, Sharon's friend Kate. Oh boy. Uh... And then the babysitter <laughs> believes her. Yeah, and this is the thing. Now, I'm, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to harp on the babysitter. It's just a constructive criticism. Yes. And which were also two babysitters in real life. You're babysitting a baby for, you know, for 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 for, parent, for a mom and a dad. Yeah. Somebody shows up saying they're a friend of the couple, and I'm gonna drop something up. One, don't easily let them in. Don't just easily let them in the house, especially unsupervised. Like you know, she did. Oh, okay. Well, he's going up there. Uh, especially uh, may call. Uh, like you say, well, you want me to call them? Call the the uh, call mom or dad that the uh, the mom or dad that your baby said. Call the call the call those parents on your phone. Yes. Don't let don't let the friend call on their phone because they could easily pretend like they're talking. Yeah. But you have to ex excuse yourself first and then call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like keep, there's a lady okay. outside. Mm -hmm. like, keep them in. Yeah, yeah the, don't and still don't let them in. Yeah, like excuse me a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely do that there. I know our one of our former nursery student. 
Um, <laughs> good. That's the issue. No, but what I guess I probably babysit your kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I could. I know. I know from from how she is. She probably. I'm pretty sure she would think to do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, like. I'm, hey, I'm a friend of Christina's. There. Yeah. Just wait right here, excuse me, for a second. <laughs> hey, Christina, this is a friend of yours at the door. <laughs> who, is, who is that friend? Uh, yes, her name is Katie. Um, I don't know. Can you give me a description? And then she gives to this good lady. Like, don't let her in there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, ironic. Now the thunder comes with the review. <laughs> And it was uh, sunny this morning. I guess we, when we left. I guess it's a thundering subject. <laughs> at least, at least we was able to. At least we was able to make it to church there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. So. Um, yeah, she goes up there, uh, and when they get when when Derek and Sharon get home, they find out their son is missing. Um, however, Lisa didn't just take the baby away from the house. She put the baby in the car, a car that, that they still had there at the house. And I know she also ransacked the bedroom. Yep, and, and left a kissy mark as her calling card on the baby's forehead. And took the baby in the hospital right away. Yep, and that was, that was a smart thinking because, like I say, yeah, baby been kidnapped, possible trauma. Also, the fact that baby was sitting in the car. You don't know how long that baby was sitting in the car without air. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, definitely a smart move. <laughs> yeah, the baby is fine until he got home. I think the reason he cried because he was traumatized after his traumatized encounter. think maybe the flashbacks came to him at yeah. that moment of what had happened. Yeah, and when he, when he got home. And we don't know what exactly Lisa did in his sight. Um, another thing I speculate, now this could be a far-fetched theory, but I theorize that maybe, uh, maybe he might have witnessed what she did to the bedroom. And maybe when they got back home, he cried as his way of, uh, Mom, Dad, that bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> so she did something, <laughs> and then that's when they found when they set him when they got him settled in the bed. That's when they found out what the. And heck? then she also and she also tore the picture of Sharon out. Yeah, and, and I bet she want to put her Lisa's head in there. Mm -hmm. Sharon, Sharon got on there for the. Let me tell you something. I'm on to you. It is on. You better watch yourself. <laughs> Some coming for you. <laughs> and then they upgrade their security system. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and you think like, oh, I guess only Sharon was mad. No, Derek was upset too. They were upset in different ways. They showed in different ways. Sharon wanted to go at Lisa in fist in fist to fist. Yes. Derek, when he was talking with the detective, like, what I need to do, buy a gun? Yeah. <laughs> I guess the big difference, um, his, I guess his case was like, look, it's a, I'm not, I'm not a violent person, but, uh, this is my, that was my son. And, gun, it's over. <laughs> That's, that was probably his mode of thinking. To as kill. a reaction, yeah, as a reaction to killer yeah. in his mind, right? Because, like I say, you know, it's it's like as it's like when you threaten when you threaten a lot when you threaten lions in the wild, they're cubs. But the downside is he'll be he'll be arrested for murder. Yeah, that's the downside. Yeah, but, but that's but that's the reason behind his mode of thinking. Yeah, so, yes. yeah. But like I say, let's take the civil approach and upgrade the security system. Mm -hmm. Um. And so, you think everything's fine then? They're about to go see Sharon's parents for the 30th anniversary uh, celebration. Um, she's going to head there uh, ahead of him uh, that afternoon. And, and God, Derek, Derek, Derek will, will be there in the now. morning. Yeah. Lisa finds out this information from Patrick. Uh, unwilling, uh, yeah, um, tricks, him in, tricks him into giving out that information. Yeah. 
And the first thing Lisa thinks is like, okay, so if I come there after Sharon leaves, Derek will come back there to get ready to leave in the morning so I can greet him alone. Hmm. However, it don't quite go in Lisa's favor because uh, Sharon forgot to turn the security system off, so she immediately goes back there. Yes. However, before she got, got there, Lisa comes in there house is unarmed and gets herself in position like she's going to greet Derek and what she don't count on is Shannon coming in there and hearing her pop the bottle of champagne hmm. it's almost like hearing a burglar in your house yeah and she goes up there and sees Lisa in that shirt and everything like what are you doing here mm-hmm. like we didn't want you to find out this way find out what <laughs> And you remember, remember, remember how Sharon was with earlier, you know, when she first found all this out and she was like, I need to be alone. Yeah. And like, like, look, look, Sharon, let's just, th- don't touch me. I said, don't touch me. And hiss her. And that's where the fight starts there. And I think that's the only scene they like the most in this movie is the fight scene. Yeah. I mean... Of course, Derek finds out uh, when he tries to call the house because Lisa picks it up. Like, what are you doing there? <laughs> and fight goes on. And you notice that Sharon was still Sharon has boots on while while Lisa does, and she have she just barefoot. Oh boy! And let's just say um, they lead up to the uh, to the attic there. Yes. Oh. Uh, of course, there's a jump scare from Lisa. <laughs> um, Sharon gets an idea that was foreshadowed in the very beginning of the movie when they moved in. A creaky floor. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah he's like, come on. Come on. Come on. Try to get me. Come on. He's like, Leave him. <laughs> and. Hey, imagine Harley Quinn as that Lisa girl. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, I think, would have gave us. I don't think. Harley Quinn would have been able to hold the front like this girl did. She wouldn't. <laughs> I don't. At least I don't think so. Maybe she might. She might, but I. Cause yeah, I think it depends on what version of Harley Quinn it is. Well, in that fight scene, she she, she started remind me of Harley Quinn with that fight scene. Oh yeah. When she got cra- when she gone crazy. I mean, she probably have a hammer instead of a wooden plank. Oh. You know, Harley Quinn had that mallet there. Yeah, that big mallet. Uh huh. <laughs> well, of course, the floor gives in. Lisa falls, and she's holding on for her dear life. So you would think, yeah, she would let Lisa uh, just, like, uh, or probably push her fingers off so she fall. But, of course, the morale, because, you know, human life, she tries to pick up, but. There's a little something I once heard in one of Brandy reacts. Um, sometime a person, sometime a person is too far gone. You uh, just have to let them go. Right. You know. Sometimes you can't. You know. You, you you want to. You know. Because of human morale. But sometimes you you got to do what you got to do. And Lisa's that far gone, for example. Right. And uh, sort of like Zod in Man of Steel. Yes. Yeah, he had to, he had to snap the neck, otherwise he would have roasted those civilians. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so she actually does. Sharon does try to help Lisa up, uh, but Lisa trying to pull Sharon with her, sort of like the butler pulling Eddie Murphy in Haunted Mansion. But uh, to Sharon's favor, Lisa slips. Uh, well, actually, she's able to get Lisa off of her. Falls into a glass table, and she's still alive until the chandelier gives up and falls on. Right, <sighs> sort of, sort of made me think of the ending of Orphan, and and the movie ends when Sharon was in a state of shock. Oh yeah, because yeah, I know. Yeah, she and yeah, that uh, she was really upset with Lisa. She did. Um, she was like, want to give her a piece of her mind, but yeah, like I said, that's that. That's the moral part of her, you know. Yes. Like so, sort of um, another example, like Spider-Man. You know, he was so mad at Green Goblin, but 
you know, he didn't bring himself to kill Green Goblin because, you know, that's not going to bring uh, Gwen back. Referring to the comics, that's not going to bring Gwen back. <laughs> I know if she did held her up, she would continue to fight with her until they get outside and the detective would just stop the fight and arrest her. Yeah, so, but, so, at least, at least, yeah, it, it worked in Sharon's favor. Yeah. Yeah, so, because, like I said, she was tres. yeah, Lisa was trespassing, so, technically, all the, all what happened there could be listed as Sharon, hey, I'm fighting an invader here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and of course, it's a nice ending, you know, they get Lisa out of there, obviously dead. And everything's good for Sharon and Derek now. Yeah. Kind of, kind of feel sad that it didn't end that way for Orph for that orphan movie where the lady lost her husband in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. But. As well as her son. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Male, mostly the male relative she lost. Yeah. The movie was not too friendly to males there. Yeah. But. But at least, at least obsessed, we got a different ending on that, though. Yeah. Though so that, that's how it ended there. And a lot, like like we mentioned before, there's a lot to learn from that movie for, you know, guys and even 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 the ladies there. You know, vice versa. Yeah. Uh, because who knows? It could happen the other way around. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely some things to learn. Major thing to learn. Communicate. Mm. Communicate with your spouse. Yes. Even whether it's good or bad. Yeah, communicate. If something's something going on, I mean, because obviously we're going to tell them, oh, baby, check, you know, this happened at work. It's so good. Mm. But even, even the bad, because like I say, you never, uh, if it go, if it escalates to something, you, they will know. Yes. Mm. Yep. Same thing you wanted to add with that there. What I was about to say is the movie the movie was sort of a mixed bag between good and bad. The reason I say a mix between good and bad because most of the critics didn't like the movie itself. And the only thing that is interesting about the movie is the fight scene in the climax between Sharon and the Le and the Lisa girl. And but it does have a moral to this movie. To the movie, which is just, just if 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 there is there something if there's if if you encounter something that involve that involves that involves um, you in that predicament with Lisa trying to trying to trying to make out with you even though even though you're not interested in her just just talk just tell your spouse about it mm -hmm. or anyone and it, it could be a family member it could be anyone anyone you trust and know because it has to be addressed right away. Mm -hmm. Same goes if you're a bit, if you've been abused or raped or any or any or sexually assaulted. Just just tell someone. That way you can get some help. <laughs> yeah, help and you put that person to, and, you, and you get that person to justice. Right. Yeah. Both of you can get some help and even and and yeah, something can be done about the person doing it to you. Whether it's you know like you just said them seeing justice. Yeah. Or. Maybe, in, for all we know, maybe they might even have some type of mentality problem that's causing them to do that. And both, and yeah, you you can get some help, obviously, and they can also get help or whatever it is they need. Well, my only nitpick is they never had an explanation to Muya of why she was into Charles in the first place. Of what does she see in Charles? There's no explanation, and I think that's why the critics had a negative review about the obsessed movie because there was no explanation of why she was obsessed with Charles in the first place. But if they did get a, a, a better explanation of why she obsessed with Charles so much, then the movie, will, then the critics might like the movie. Mm -hmm. They will be mixed with the movie or like it. It all depends on how they feel, feel about it when they look at it. Mm -hmm. And they never ex and they never sh and they never tell what disease she had caused her to act that way. And I think it might be agromania. It, oh yeah, I remember you explaining that to me. And that only affects for females for some reason who never who who are shy who are shy as well as desperate, somewhat depressed, and never been loved, that they had to find love, love, 
with someone else or something else that caused them to be obsessed with that. Yeah. Even though that, even though that person wasn't interested. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, yeah, I go. I definitely agree. Like I say, like I say, it could be, and like I say, you know, it's different. I mean, depending on the critic and stuff like that. But yeah, that's definitely a that's definitely a major nit- nitpick flaw to point out. Yeah, definitely. And um, they presented some stuff in the movie, like her journal and stuff like that, that would have made for a good way to explain more of her. And she was in the hospital, and they didn't, and the, and there was no doctor present. What, what was her mental, was her mel- mental state? Like, mm-hmm. what does she have? Yeah, and then the fact that she almost committed suicide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's you'd think that would be something to look into. Yeah. Because I mean, something had to lead her into all that, especially the suicide thing. Yeah, I know she has a mental disorder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely with signs of it, but. Thanks. So these are two. These are two plot holes. Yeah, definitely something to look into if this movie gets rebooted. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that would. Yeah, if this movie gets rebooted, um, maybe it may not. But if it does, yeah, uh, film filmmakers take that into consideration. Yeah, they. Yeah, they, you know how you always have to do something different in a reboot. Yeah, there's something. There's something you can. Oh, uh, I was and like I mentioned before, make it from her point of view to really dive into that sort of like the Walking Phoenix Joker. Yes. Yeah, that would, cause that's what that's what made Walking Phoenix Joker work so well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's something to definitely consider. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that was interesting is the fight scene about the movie. To, oh yeah, to the people, cause especially they in the trailers. And, yes. Yeah. I think it wouldn't surprise me if that fight scene was on YouTube that they could just enjoy that instead of a whole movie. <laughs> Yeah, they're sort of, sort of like, sort of like Transformers last night. The only scene that I actually enjoy looking at on YouTube is the junkyard scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's about the only scene that gives me a little enjoyment there on in the fifth movie. Like, I like Transformers, uh, Bayformers. Yeah, I like one through three. Yeah. Bumblebee and Rise of the Beast. Fourth movie, I'm not too wild with the plot, but yeah. it's but it's a decent movie. Just don't like the plot. Fifth movie. Um, I'm just gonna watch the junkyard scene because I, yes. I don't get. Yeah, I I kind of get what the plot is there, but it's just so all over the place, and it, I, it, I gave up halfway through the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, like I say, but if, hey, but uh, and like I mentioned in the Bumblebee review, if if you guys like fourth and fifth movie, hey, nothing against y'all. Yeah, y'all is a in, enjoy in, enjoy it there because I'm just saying I didn't. Yeah. Get to, yeah. I'm not. I'm not discouraging you guys with getting. Hey, maybe y'all saw. Hey, yeah. Maybe y'all saw something I did in there. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else? Well, I'm. I'm like a mixed bag in this movie, but the movie would have been better if they explained more about Lisa, about why she's more into Charles as well as possibly her backstory, and what is her mental illness. What mm-hmm. more specific? But what does she have that caused her to act that way? Maybe they could have even done something with uh, Patrick, who she did talk to. Yes. Um, might, he might have even tried. Maybe he could have even played somewhat of a role of trying to find out about her and stuff like that, yeah. since they did associate with each other. Hmm. Hmm. Outside of her trying to, when she wasn't flirting with Charles. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That. That could have that could be an interesting mix. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sort of may, but it could have done better. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 no cat. It's it's oh, it's it's not like Cat in the Hat where I was just like, ugh. Hated. But yeah, yeah, it's it's a it, it's a decent movie. But yeah. yeah, it could use some it it could use some work. Yeah, it could definitely use some work. And oh, uh, but there is stuff that can be gotten out of what we did get. Yes. It could, it's, yeah, it's definitely some way, and as well as ways that it could be written better. Yeah, yeah at least we get a moral out of it. Oh yeah, hmm. sort of. Yeah, pretty pretty much like the Unfriended movies. So um, yeah, yeah, un- especially the first one. It, um, I under I I I definitely understand why people why some people hated that movie Unfriended, uh, because the people were unlikable in that, and that was a major flaw. 
But it had a good moral of cyberbullying, though. Hmm. Yeah, oh, man, pretty much scaring people and then, okay, I won't cyberbully. Yeah. <laughs> because a ghost will come and get me. Hmm. <laughs> but just saying, you know. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, just go to show you. Yeah, there's a, like, like Brownie said, you know, there's good, there's good in a lot of different movies, yeah, like this one, but. But you, but but yeah, the flaw. But you, but you still gotta acknowledge where it can be better. And like, there are some good and bad movies, and it can't be the way with bad movies. There are some, there are some, there are some. Okay, there are some good and bad movies, but mm -hmm. there are some bad and good movies. Yeah, yeah. Even can like I say, as bad as Captain the Hat was, even it had because Bo Welch seemed like he worked really well with that movie, but it, they just didn't treat him right. Yeah, yeah. He just. He just didn't. He, he just didn't get the uh, get a very good treatment in that. I think his his strengths is just being a set designer. Right, That's where his yeah. strength is being so. a set designer than a director. Mm hmm. So. So he just he should just stick with set designs. Yeah. So. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, definitely a lot to get out of this movie. Definitely check it out. But also be aware of ways that it can be better. Maybe you might even. Maybe, maybe when it was like, yeah, I would definitely recommend watching. Maybe just like we found, you know, ways it could be better. Even you could probably, but like, wait, what, what would you do differently with the movie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. So, uh, we got that'll be it. Oh, okay. Well, the thunder rolls with this review here. <laughs> yeah, it's a stormy topic. <laughs> So, so uh, yep, like what you saw, definitely like, share, and subscribe, definitely leave in the comment section, go check out the movie and even tell us tell us about what you think about it there, um, and well, let's also give us some support by buying our available comic books, and as well as also uh, future support through Patreon for, you know, other things that we got going for the future as well um, you know other projects and stuff that we plan to do as well as also in our you know daily life as well patreon as well as also even sponsor a video too <laughs> and with that we will see y'all in the next video take care everybody bye everyone <laughs>